In the previous video, um, we solved this problem just uh, kind of brute forcing it with algebra and talked about order of operations. I want to try to do this a little more elegantly using properties of conjugates and the uh, actual complex conjugates as they're defined. So if you look at the original problem under the radical bar, I'll rewrite it again. Uh, this is in standard form, 16 plus 12i. This second term is not in standard form. So I'm going to rewrite it in standard form. I'll just reverse the order here. This is negative 16 plus 12i. And again, if we wanted to look at this, one of the things that we can do is, before we multiply or simplify, we can factor out a negative 1. So I'm going to rewrite this as an equivalent expression. This is 16 plus 12i. Factoring out the negative 1, I get 16 minus 12i times negative 1. Now, at, in this form, in, when both of these are written in standard form with that out, the real component is the same. The complex component is the opposite. These are complex conjugates. And so we can use the shortcut for multiplying these out. Instead of being a difference of squares, because these are con conjugates, they become a sum of the squares. And so we can go straight to this is equal to 16 squared plus 12 squared. And then when we're done, we still have to multiply by the extra term that we factored out, which is negative 1. So this simplifies to the square root of 400 times the square root of negative 1, which is 20i. 